Imagine a sea with no shores, a sea within an ocean. Welcome to the Sargasso Sea. This remarkable body of water is the only sea on our planet without a land boundary. Instead, it is uniquely defined by a vortex of four powerful ocean currents. Nestled within the North Atlantic Ocean, the Sargasso Sea is an enigmatic and fascinating marine environment. Its name, derived from the abundant sargassum seaweed that floats freely on its surface, hints at the rich biodiversity hidden beneath its tranquil waves. Despite its lack of coastline, the Sargasso Sea is anything but isolated. It's strategically positioned, rubbing shoulders with the United States to the west, Europe to the east, and the Caribbean to the south. Its location has played a pivotal role in its historical significance, which we will delve into next. The Sargasso Sea, a unique marine marvel, is only the beginning of an intriguing journey. The Sargasso Sea has intrigued explorers since the times of Christopher Columbus. Indeed, the mystique of this sea, unlike any other, has been a subject of fascination for centuries. Its historical significance can be traced back to the voyages of Christopher Columbus. When Columbus first embarked on his transatlantic journey back in the late 15th century, he noted the sea in his logs. As the tale goes, Columbus and his crew found themselves surrounded by a sea of golden brown seaweed stretching as far as their eyes could see. It was a sight they had never encountered before. They were floating in the Sargasso Sea, a place that would later become a symbol of exploration, mystery, and scientific discovery. Over the centuries, the Sargasso Sea has continued to captivate the imagination of explorers and scientists alike with its unique characteristics and rich biodiversity. The Sargasso Sea, with its historical significance, has always been a subject of wonder and exploration. Land doesn't bound the Sargasso Sea, but the relentless dance of ocean currents. Unlike its counterparts, the Sargasso Sea isn't hemmed in by coastlines. Instead, it's the rhythmic ebb and flow of four distinct currents that shape its borders. Firstly, we have the Gulf Stream, a warm and swift Atlantic current that originates in the Gulf of Mexico. It hurdles northward along the American coast before veering east towards Europe. Then, there's the North Atlantic Current, a powerful extension of the Gulf Stream that continues the journey eastwards. On the southern boundary, the Canary Current carries cool waters from the North Atlantic down towards the West African coast. Lastly, the North Atlantic Equatorial Current sweeps westward, completing the loop and marking the Sargasso Sea's southernmost reach. These currents, each with their unique paths, intertwine in an intricate dance, crafting a sea unlike any other. These currents in their ceaseless flow give the Sargasso Sea its unique identity. The Sargasso Sea derives its name from the Sargassum seaweed, a floating garden in the open ocean. Sargassum seaweed, a brown algae, is a unique species in many ways. Unlike most seaweeds that anchor themselves to the ocean floor, Sargassum floats freely on the surface, creating a dense mat of intertwined fronds. This floating forest is kept afloat by small, gas-filled bladders that act like tiny life preservers. But what makes the Sargassum truly remarkable is its ability to thrive in the harsh conditions of the Sargasso Sea. The high salt content, warm temperatures and calm waters offer an ideal environment for this seaweed to flourish. Sargassum is more than just a sea plant. It's a vital component of the Sargasso Sea ecosystem, providing food, shelter and breeding grounds for a myriad of marine species. From tiny shrimp to large sea turtles, many creatures depend on this seaweed for survival. The sargassum seaweed, a lifeline in the middle of the ocean, adds to the distinctiveness of the Sargasso Sea. The Sargasso Sea, a cradle of life, is home to a plethora of endemic species. Just as garden teems with life, so too does this unique sea, where a multitude of organisms have adapted to thrive in this remarkable habitat. The Sargasso Sea, with its dense mats of floating sargassum seaweed, provides an oasis for a host of endemic species, creatures that are found nowhere else on Earth. Let's delve into the depths and meet some of these unique inhabitants. The Sargassum fish, a master of camouflage, stands as a testament to the game of survival. This fascinating creature, with its leaf-like appendages and mottled coloring, blends seamlessly into the floating seaweed, lying in wait for unsuspecting prey. 
Then there's the petite sargassum shrimp, a tiny marvel that has made the floating seaweed its home. With a translucent body that mimics the color of the sargassum, it's a master of disguise, hiding from predators and sneaking up on its own prey. But the Sargasso Sea is not only a refuge for the small and stealthy, it also serves as a vital breeding and nursery for some of the ocean's most majestic creatures. The American and European eels journey thousands of miles to spawn in this unique sea. Their offspring, known as Leptocephali, spend their early life in the nurturing embrace of the Sargassum, growing and maturing before making the long journey back to their parents' freshwater homes. The Sargasso Sea's biological significance is astounding. It's a sanctuary for a myriad of species, a nursery for young marine life, and a crucial part of the larger Atlantic ecosystem. It plays an essential role in the life cycles of many species, and its preservation is vital for the continued diversity and health of our oceans. So, as we surface from this deep dive into the Sargasso Sea's endemic species, let's take a moment to appreciate this unique environment. Its floating forests of sargassum seaweed provide not just a habitat, but a lifeline for a host of creatures, each playing their part in the intricate web of life. From tiny creatures to majestic marine animals, the Sargasso Sea provides a sanctuary for a diverse array of life. The Sargasso Sea, a sea without shores, is a testament to nature's wonder. Defined by ocean currents, recognized by Columbus, and a haven for endemic species, it reminds us of the fascinating complexity and resilience of life on our planet.